Hey guys, I hope you guys had a great week and today I'm going to bring, um, I'm going to bring to you, sorry. Uh, this week I actually have two Buzz Agents or Buzz Agents. So um, in case you're not familiar with Buzz Agent, Buzz Agent's actually like a free, like a freebie sample site. So it's completely free to sign up and what you do is you take a whole bunch of surveys and when they find like, um, what do they call it? A campaign that you're like a good fit for, then they'll email you and he, and like as soon as you see that email, you have to quickly like be like, yeah, I'm interested in this campaign, um, etc. So this time I have two campaigns and the first one is actually for, um, let me have my address. It's this one, the Playtex. And, um, yeah, so before I go into taking out what's out of this box, which you probably already know, I'm not very happy with this. This was kind of embarrassing, you can say. Um, I don't even think Victoria's Secret does this, and they're, like, known for the laundry. But I could be wrong. I usually just shop in, do in stores and not, like, online for Victoria's Secret. But really, like, was this really necessary and it says support on the bottom, like, no. Um, yeah, not happy with the packaging of this one. But yeah, when you open it, um, what you see is a brassiere. Okay, so obviously you have the official um, buzz guide. They talk about like what kind of support this bra will give and um, some information. And then, like, what colors, where is it, whatever colors they will carry, etc. And, um, so here it is. This is not exactly a style I'll go for, and I don't, yeah, so, but that's what this agent is about. Like, it forces you to go, like, out of your comfort zone and try something, I'm going to put this down, that you're not used to of. So even though this isn't exactly um, a style I'll, I usually go for, it, it doesn't hurt to try something else. And this was $37. So um, yeah, I don't think I'll be making a first impressions video for that per se because it kind of was already awkward that I held it up and stuff like that. So yeah, but um, if you're definitely interested about learning more about um, this bra. Um, if you log into, if you do sign up, register with Buzz Agent, they will show you what all the different campaigns are that are going on, and you can click on um, this particular campaign and then read reviews. And there's plenty of reviews, and I'm definitely doing those reviews. So yeah, keep your eye on that. Okay, and so for my next campaign, and I'm sorry, I'm speaking like much quicker than I normally do, but yeah, so my next campaign which is a normal Buzz Agent box with like no like embarrassing pictures um was actually for the Garnier BB cream so I know they give like a ton of these samples um if you look online and you can just like pick whatever sample you want or not pick whatever sample you want they Garnier is always giving out free samples of this BB cream so I know I have a couple myself but they're never in the shade that um I would need but let's go back to this so this is again the official buzz guide and it talks about what's the buzz what's the facts and buzz activities and stuff like that and um, when you look inside there is this, um, the Garnier BB Cream, and this is combination to oily skin for medium deep. So, I'm actually really excited to try this. Um, I was, honestly, before I even, I'm, like, really bad about putting on foundation and things like that, in case you guys probably noticed. Um, yeah, so I'm not very good about putting on foundations. So I'm really, really excited to try this BB cream out and see how that will turn out. Um, and this is all this. So I feel like I'm all over the place in this video. But yeah, so that was all that was in the box. Um, there was no free or extra coupons or anything for the Garnier BB cream. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but the... Um, 
because I was kind of distracted by how the box looked. But um, the Playtex one definitely came with five five dollar off coupons for a Playtex bra from Kohl's. So again, I'll be passing it on probably to my mom and her. yeah, she can deal with it. But yeah, so there's like nothing else. It's just like a normal box. And this is how it looks like. Garnier um, Skin Renew. So I'll do like a little swatch here. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, um, yeah, like it was like pouring out of the bottle. But um, I think I would actually wear this, which I kind of have to do anyways, for um, like two weeks or so. And I'll do like a first impressions and how I felt about it and things like that. But okay, so this is how it looks like. It's just like really nice and creamy. It actually has a weird scent to it. Not like a bad weird, but oh my gosh. Do you see that? It's just like pouring out everywhere. Okay, so that's one negative fact about this cream already. This BB cream, it just keeps pouring even if you don't like um, do anything. I was just kidding. It was just my hands. <laughs> um, yeah, so be careful. This does make a mess. And I'm not even putting it wrong, like, this is how you put it, and it's leaking everywhere. But let's, here, I'll show you guys. Let's blend it in. Um, okay, this was definitely a very, very big swatch. Um, yeah, so I've actually tried um, other BB creams, or tinted moisturizers, pretty much, before. And, um... I'm actually in the process of collecting, like, things I don't like, products I never wear anymore, and things like that. So that video will be coming up really, really quick. Not really quickly, like, coming up soon. So, okay. If you look, you can't see it anymore. I should actually have put it on right here. But, um, so it actually matches my skin tone pretty, pretty close. It's, but it's kind of like it kind of gets like a dewy like appearance it's not very mattifying like um if I look at my hand I can easily tell that I do have something on but so yeah I don't think yeah so this kind of gives off more like a pinkish tone I don't know I think I'm just really tired I don't know what I'm talking about but um yeah so like my very like first impression out of the box I do like it. It's not making my skin burn because I have really, really sensitive skin and I feel like every time I tried the nettle samples, my skin was always burning. So I'm glad I got like the full size to try out first. And um, I like it in terms of coverage. Don't know because I didn't put it over like the thing that actually needs coverage. Um, yeah, so... Sorry about being all over the place, but again, if you like this video, please thumbs it up and uh, check out the down bar below and I'll have buzz agent links so you guys can sign up for the surveys and start getting freebies also. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!